your so, camera around. Like this. Oh. Okay, cool. Okay, like this. Is that I'm like, sorry, we have a little technical difficulty. Hey, it happens. Don't mind us. <laughs> Just say we're new to this and true to this. <laughs> right, there we go. go. All right, cool. Is that good? Okay, cool. All right, so. Why yours on you and you? Mine's on you too. Okay. <laughs> I'm cool. sad. <laughs> I add you in there. There we go. All right. See, that perfect. Boom. Cool. So. Okay, y'all. So <laughs> we're on two different lives. And like my son was saying earlier, we are going to do a no box production or what did, what did, um, Jermaine say? Improv? Known productions. Known or known, known productions. Known box productions. Yeah. Known box productions. We're figuring out the name, so don't worry about that. But we're going to start talking about, uh, trending <coughs> topics or topics that's close to our heart or situations, matters, whatever. So we didn't want to be put in a box. That's why the title is that you and know actually what we could do for our first one um really i give the choice to you guys if you guys could put one topic that you would like to talk about whether that be relationships anger um depression what else right um anything that people are dealing parenting with, any of that like anything you're dealing with like we want to talk about it like we want to put a full scope on just people, period, and what they're dealing with. Facts. So, and we can add you in the live, which I think would be super dope. Facts. And we'll also add people in the live if you, you know what I'm saying? You also want to have your opinion. Just, you know what I'm saying? Just like, request. Yeah, request to get in the live. We'll add you in. Like, um, this is, I mean, this is a little bit for everybody, bro. Anybody who has an opinion, you know what I'm saying? Feel free to speak your piece. So, um, in the comment section, if anybody could add something that they want to talk about. Um, and like I said, it doesn't have to be a specific topic, just anything. Um, throw it in the comment section and uh, we'll tune in about it. Definitely, definitely. So, the topic that we were talking about tonight that, you know, we both have different opinions on, but it, it's definitely something that should be talked about, is when people kids adults whatever feel pressure to feel that they're less than that they don't have a purpose that they're not loved or that they feel that they're being judged for who they truly are or what they expose or show or whatever and with ricky smiley and his nephew a lot of people are beating ricky smiley up due to the fact that they're saying it's his fault that his nephew killed himself now we all know that we're all dealing with stuff how we handle it is our internal way and what we think is right at the time can people push us in a direction but they're not accountable for what we decide to do overall but bullying child abuse um Anytime, you know, people that are racist or they judge people on their hair, they're this, they're that, whatever, it does take a piece from you, especially if you are already broken or saddened or, or whatever and you're dealing with stuff. So me and my son was talking about Ricky Smiley and his nephew where people are really mad at Ricky about his nephew taking his life and this is really a sensitive subject so i don't want to downplay it. we're only giving our opinions there's no really right opinion because none of us are in either either one of their shoes or their family's shoes so i want to be very sensitive to that um my my opinion on the fact is i'm so proud of ricky smiley for being the man that he was for his nephews for his sons um breaking generational curses, just being a, a, a beacon in the darkness. Like he really did try to do so many great things with the youth and with the young. And that's like so super dope. So that is first kudos, you know. Um, with his nephew, the concern <coughs> was his nephew already had mental health issues. So he... He had already displayed several other situations that triggered something at that time to make him depressed, use drugs. Um, I don't know if he was suicidal before, I'm not sure. 
but I do know that he displayed things way before this situation. So G and D duo. Hmm. Victoria said G and D duo. <laughs> <laughs> right. Bad. Tell him the oh. So what's what's your thoughts on the Ricky Smiley and his nephew? Just you know your feedback. I think honestly, like. I do feel as like being a minority in society is like it's very easy to fall in the mentality of like do I do this just to prove that I can be me or do I conform to elevate to a certain status right if that makes sense <clears throat> right so it's bittersweet you're torn yeah so yeah. sometimes I have my moments like where I do feel like okay yeah you know what I'm saying I can cut my hair this way, I can do this this way, you know what I'm saying? Wear this certain type of clothing, you know what I mean? To be able to fit in and e easily be able to navigate dealing with people, especially people that have money, you know what I'm saying? They expect you to conduct yourself this way, they expect money, you to look this way, they expect you yeah. to talk this way. And um, I do see how sometimes it can be like almost as if you're hiding your natural self from the world in order to conform to something that you don't feel like is necessarily part of you. But is it fully your natural self or is it sometimes we want to rebel so we want to be different? Not saying everything's 100% different, but I'm just saying like, you know, when I was 18, I was getting piercings, tattoos, all this other stuff. Like mm -hmm. I wanted to be on the other side, but it's what I wanted. But then years later, I took them out and removed two tattoos. So sometimes is it 100% who we are? Or we have a rebellious mentality. And this is not about Ricky Smiley's nephew. This is more about just in general. I think kind of Because if like, they say, don't cut your hair, you don't. <laughs> you're going to want to cut it, right? Think, and then they say, <laughs> yeah. cut your hair, you're going to be like, no, I'm growing that shit out. You know, like. I think it is kind of a rebellious mentality for me. I'm not going to say so much in that situation. I feel like for me, though, like I do have a very rebellious spirit. So if you tell me, like, don't do this, I'm going to do it just to show you, you like, say, motherfucker, no, I, I can do yes, it. Like, I protest. Yeah, fear, yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, this right. is me. This is what I stand on. Like, right. who going to stop Ten me? You know what I'm saying? Down. Yeah. Um, I think that's very much so myself. Like, right. I, I definitely do have that mentality. Um but I think it, it's you know I, I don't I don't <laughs> think we should all just like conform to a certain mentality or anything. I feel like if you feel something in your heart, fully stand on what you believe in. Period. Right. Point blank in that order. But I do think that at times, sometimes we have to know when, where, and why. If that makes sense. I'm saying everything in life requires a balance. Right. Um, right. And I think sometimes even me, like I take things too too much past the point where it's like, all right, now you just doing this shit to do it. Like, right. When you do have to maintain a balance in life and knowing With like, anything, yeah. Yeah, with anything. You know what I'm saying? Like, even now, I remember a time when I was younger where I wanted, you know what I'm saying, like my vehicle to have chameleon paint and motherfucking Lamborghini doors. Well, I'm trying to figure. I was trying to. If it ain't broke, don't, don't fix, fix it. it. I was trying to get you with next it. time. If it ain't broke, don't fix that shit. I'm playing. Okay. <laughs> but um, now, like, I've kind of like calmed down a lot, and like, I do like the simplicity of certain shit. Like, I like low key. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't like everybody in my video. You guys. Um, I don't like everybody in my video. I like to. You know what I'm saying? Keep my shit under the radar. But to kind of like steer back to the conversation. Until he's going down a highway. He don't keep nah, he keeps hey, it. Look, hey, look, hey, man. Hey, man. Say, look, man. Keep we got to push it. Hey, look, no. listen. Got that twin turbo. You got to push that motherfucker. You got no twin no, turbo don't. for no reason, nigga. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I think um, on the Rick, Ricky Smiley. Um, what well, inbox you with it, babe? Definitely, definitely. Um, on the Ricky Smiley situation, I feel like. I feel like that was kind of like something just to put it on like I feel like there was more to it like that you know his nephew was dealing with a lot more and that some people in the family tried to utilize that as like a way of saying it's and placing fault. blame you know what I'm saying like, like it's your grieving. fault yeah I feel like also a lot of it was like a social media stunt 
if that makes sense. Like, cause it's easy. we hope not. So we're not. We hope not. I'm just right. saying. I'm gonna get my blunt opinion. I don't yeah. give a damn. Like, period. Like, I'm gonna say what the fuck's on my chest. But when you're grieving and you're hurt, though, I you think, can respond. And I think it's easier to play the blame. You know what I'm saying? It is. Like, and you don't want to take especially blame. when it comes fault. to something like death or right. It, it's so easy. To be like, it was you, it was you, it was you, and point the finger at everybody but ourselves. You know what I'm saying? Or like, them. Or them. Or like, facts. Or them. Like, you, you know knew, what I'm saying? You knew he had a drug issue. You knew he was dealing with Absolutely. mental health. You knew he had other things going on. And so it's better to say, it you was know, you. So, so I can no. sleep at night. It was you. It wasn't his fault. Mm -hmm. You know, he didn't, you know, he didn't do anything wrong. He was innocent. But he still had his issues. So sometimes people don't want to look at the issues. They just want to look at, like, it's your fault, you yep. know? And so, yeah, I agree with that. I fully agree with that. Um, I think, you know, Ricky Smiley at the same time, like, he, he's a man on a mission as well. Like, right. this man, you know what I'm saying? He has multiple children that he deals with. He got um, and, and this wasn't even a child. This is a grown man. So, 30 some years old. Fact. Yeah. So you got to look at it from that perspective as well. Like, being a grown man, you know, I'm going to have certain expectations for you that I expect you to, you know, move this way or do certain things right. and understand certain shit. And if you don't understand it, then it's it's more easier to disregard and be like, all right, well, you need to figure that shit out than it is for a child. You know right. what I'm saying? Because at that point, you're old enough to comprehend and understand certain shit. Right. So, when you're um, a child, you act as a child. When fast. You're a so I yeah. feel like... Yeah. I think Ricky Smiley did what he was supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? And like you said, you know, sometimes it takes seven, eight, nine years for you to kind of change your mindset. Right. You know what I mean? And if he, this man is taking in multiple kids into his home and he's helping, you know, point them in the right direction and reform their minds. And don't have to. And do all this. It doesn't have to. You right. know what I'm saying? But he's doing all that. And then to sit here and have to deal with you and what you got going on. I feel like sometimes it can be very aggravating, especially dealing with a grown man and you have all these young right. kids in here that you try to alter their mind and I'm still right. having to work on yours at 33 something years old. You know what I'm saying? And so, he was uh, probably overlooking what he had going on. Yeah. Ricky, you know, Ricky, he got a, you know, hella bills. He got a lot of things going on. He's got a schedule. So, you know, sometimes when you have people, and it's not about money, but people that are making major moves whatever that major move is they're making major moves in life they can't just do whatever whenever they have a schedule to keep so when they're actually opening up to you dealing with you calling you checking on you want to mentor you hang out with you whatever the case may be and they're putting time and money into this is really priceless because they've already got all this to deal with they got their life they got you know, their bills and stuff to deal with. So they're really wanting to do this. When you have somebody that don't got shit to do, you have somebody that got no schedule, <laughs> look, their time with you, it's not that it's less valuable, but at the same token, they have more time. So they're not chiseling out anything for you. <coughs> you know, so that's, that's something that people have to look at too. Like someone like Ricky Smiley of his status if he's taking time for you, it doesn't make him better than, but his time is more limited. So that's valuable within itself. So he was really taking time out for so many people and he was doing so many great things and keeping his family afloat and taking care of his stuff, you know? So that's major, you know? So I definitely don't want to downplay the situation that happened with his nephew. I don't, cause that's sad. But I also want to speak truth where truth needs to be spoken. And Absolutely. I, I think Ricky was dope. He did a great job. And and I think that's a lot of pressure to put on a person as well. Like, it, it it's one thing to say, oh, you did this wrong, you did that wrong. But it's another thing to apply pressure, especially when it's dealing with death of somebody or something like that. Like, that's a lot of pressure to put on a person. Uh <clears throat> I just feel like there's, you know, in order to, like, place blame in that regard, it has to be a lot more information in order to do something like that. Right. Like, I don't feel like that's fair at all, you know what I'm saying? Especially with him, you know, trying to help and doing all that. So Right, definitely not that drastic. Yeah, that's a lot of blame to put on a person. That's a lot. Um, 
And I just, I just think, like my mom said, like especially, you know, when people are like family or blood or relatives or even friends, you know what I mean? A lot of time it's easy to feel like another person's shit is yours. You know what I'm they saying? They owe you. Like they owe you. You right. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, And we do it all the time as people. Like, you know, we'll think because, okay, this person is of this certain status. So this person is, you know, has this. So they have that. Right. My family, that oh, my I food, have that my, too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Or, Friend, yeah. oh, you should be willing to, you know, let me do this or let me have this or let me use this or let right. me do this. And, and and it's entitlement. And I, I do that shit myself. Like, I'm not even going to sit here and lie and sit here and say that I don't do that at times. You know, as a man, like, there's times where I may see people in certain positions. I'm like, man, you know, you should help me get there or you should do this. And, I, and then it's like, damn, well, why ain't this person did that? But then sometimes you got to do some self-reflection and be like, well, why haven't they done it? And why haven't I, you know what I'm saying, made these different steps to change my life right. if I want it so bad? Right. You know what I'm saying? Um, <clears throat> and so I, I definitely feel like that that's something, you know, we also got to stop doing is always feeling like this other person is supposed to help us get to this point. You know what I'm saying? And not even realizing the emotional baggage or the stuff that they may be dealing with. Everything glitter ain't gold. You know what I'm saying? It can seem nice. like everything is so beautiful here and everything is great. You know what I'm saying? But it, it may not be exactly what you think it is. So, um, <clears throat> like they say, the grass is green on the other side, but sometimes you find out that shit, that shit, that's fake. Yeah, in fact, grass. look, it yeah, might be mulch green, out there, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Not mulch, what is it? Uh, sod. It might be sod out there, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, who's that? If turf. So true. Facts. Thank you so much, man. Like, it may be turf out there. You never really know, man. And, like, I know I do it to my mom sometimes. I be like, my mom, you know what I mean? Woo, woo, Man, you should help me with this. You should help me with that. Why don't you do this? Why don't you do that? But then, at the same time, like... <laughs> we love you, mama. Seeing... <laughs> Fast. <laughs> I don't be seeing hey, your saying the stuff on the back end. You know what I mean? Right. So, it's just sometimes analyzing and seeing that you don't know everything about everybody's situation. And that, you know, you can't always apply pressure... You know, on people, especially just because you see them of a certain status and that they may have certain things to offer, it may not be everything that you think it is. And um, sometimes be willing to step outside of your comfort zone in order to elevate in life. You know right, what I mean? Right. Don't always feel like everybody's trying to hold you back or keep you from being you. You know what I mean? Just learn how to be a chameleon. An old school brother told me one thing. Oh, and I, like and I feel like too, this is the realest thing somebody ever told me. And they told me it's three type of people in this world. The one that conceals his hand, the one that reveals his hand, and the one that only shows you the hand he wants you to see. Facts. The one that conceals his hand, you wonder his moves before he makes it. The one that reveals his hand, you know his moves before he makes it. And the one that only shows you the hand he wants you to see, that's the real puppet master. That's who's ultimately in control. Right. So if at any time you feel like, oh, I got to cut my hair or I got to, you know, dress this certain way to mix and mingle around certain individuals, play the game, bro. You know what I'm saying? Play the game and, and learn how to navigate past them other individuals till you can get to a point where you can do what you want to do. Right. You feel what I'm saying? Right. If you look at it, J. Cole, J. Cole done made it. You feel what I'm saying? He done reached a certain point in his life. That man don't wear nothing but Timberlands hoodies and yep. some dreads i ain't never seen so ratchet you feel what i'm saying but Living at the same time life. you feel what i'm saying he done made it to a certain point where he could do that right so as a man if you have to alter small things to in order to elevate to, to where yeah. you're trying Next to go level. bro do that shit you know what i'm yep. saying it's anything and any means bro to provide for your family yeah you know so definitely do that um you got anything to say no, but we love y'all. We Definitely think you're fabulous. We had so much fun. Appreciate Thank you for your comments and everybody that joined. And the little broster over here. Brody's nigga. like, hey, yeah. show <laughs> love. You need him a little girlfriend. You feel <laughs> right. what I'm saying? We definitely try to make some Yorkie puppies Happy so we can holidays. make some Yorkie money. You feel what I'm saying? Right. Hey. For sure. real, tap in. <laughs> <laughs> we love you guys. I right, love y'all, man. <laughs> Bye. Peace and blessings. How do I do 